As a former prosecutor, now criminal defense attorney, I get asked by people, what are your top five legal movies? So let me give you my top five. Number five, A Time to Kill. This movie came out in 1996. It's about a father whose daughter was hurt by some really bad guys. So the father, once the bad guys got let off by the court, took the law into his own hands. He was charged with some very serious crimes and a young lawyer had to defend him in court. This young lawyer is played by Matthew McConaughey, which a lot of people said look like me. And the dad is Samuel L. Jackson. Matthew McConaughey's character, Jake, had to defend Samuel L. Jackson in court against all odds in the South. The best part about this movie is the closing argument. Against all odds, Jake makes a great closing arguments, probably one of the best in cinematic history. Number four, The Godfather Part Two. It's not a legal movie per se, but Robert Duvall plays Tom Hagen, the family attorney. Even though I might disagree with Tom Hagen's tactics in his bending of the law, he does operate with class and logic in order to try to advise the family the best routes to go. In addition, Robert Duvall's acting is superb. Number three, Lincoln Lawyer. It's another movie starring Matthew McConaughey. He plays a Los Angeles criminal defense attorney. The movie shows a lot of background work done on cases. However, it really exaggerates it. It really shows how a lawyer, a criminal defense lawyer especially, has to go from court to court representing their clients and doing the best they can. Number two, Young Mr. Lincoln. This is an older film. It came out in 1939. Even though it's about the life of Abraham Lincoln, it deals with a courtroom scene that's very famous for Abraham Lincoln. It deals with a murder trial. Which Abraham Lincoln was defending a young man. And the witness against the young man Lincoln was representing said that he saw this man commit the murder because the moon was bright that night. But Abraham Lincoln was smarter than that. He pulled out the almanac and found out that there was no moon that night and it was completely black. And that witness ends up confessing to the crime. Thus, finding his client innocent. And the number one movie of all time, My Cousin Vinny. The movie is about Vinny Gambini, who has to defend his cousin who's being tried for murder in rural Alabama. But Vinny is a New Yorker, talks with the accent and acts like a New Yorker. It's a comedy. The best scene in this movie is when Vinny comes up to does his opening argument and says, everything the prosecution just said is of course is objective. You can't argument an opening statement. So all the other stuff was cut out and the only thing for his opening statement was good morning. It's a great movie and probably the inspiration for me to become a lawyer. These are my favorite lawyer movies. So what are your top five criminal movies?